But the president has to be the leader on this. When he brought his own children into it, when he said, you know, my two daughters go to the movies, and what if it were them? Well, I guess if President Obama is watching right now, and I, and I say this with all due respect, what if it were them? What if it were them last Thursday night? Would you stand at the microphone the next day and say, I feel your pain and, you know, we just, we, the existing gun laws, that's what he said, the existing laws are enough. Is that really what you'd say, Mr. President? I, I don't think so. And, and, and you and I and everybody, we have to see these children, these young people were killed on, on Thursday night, Friday morning, we have to see them as our children. We as Americans, and this is really where the, the larger collective problem has to be fixed, we have to see that we're part of each other and we have to take care of each other. The reason why they have universal health care in Canada and Britain, these other places, because they believe if one suffers, everybody suffers. That is not our mentality. Our mentality is, I got mine, you get yours, and to hell with everybody else. No, I, at least I wasn't in that theater, you know? <laughs> I mean, that is, can't, that, we have to stop this. We have to stop this attitude toward each other. We have to realize that those were our children who were who are killed there this past weekend. And, and, and if you treat it like that, man, I think if everybody honestly really felt that way, we would have some change in this country, and these politicians would respond quickly uh, if people would just rise up and say, damn it, this is not the America I'm going to live in. This is too great of a country to let this happen again. I am not going to let this happen again. It's got to change, and I invite Americans who feel the same way as I do, and I believe it's the majority, to help me change this, help everyone change this.